Hi, welcome to HowToStats.com. In this video, I'm going to give a very basic introduction to SPSS. And by that I mean the interface that we spend most of our time looking at in SPSS. What we're looking at right now is precisely what you'll be looking at uh, when you start SPSS if you have version 19. Now there are previous versions to SPSS that look a bit different to this particularly this section here of the um, uh, interface, or the window, uh, but the other section where we look at the uh, menus is probably going to be uh, exactly the same or nearly exactly the same. Uh, the uh, first thing to know about SPSS is that it's a uh, spread, it has a spreadsheet. Um, and that's different to some other high-level processing statistical packages. Uh, so you can actually enter data just like you would in Excel. And it's also similar to Excel in that there are columns and there are rows. And the columns in SPSS are known as variables. In fact, that's what SPSS did as a default when I entered data into the spreadsheet. It called it VAR00001. And that's the default name that it gives any um, variable that uh, has a data entered into it and it's not otherwise specified. So this is a variable of interest in SPSS and these are rows or cases. And all analyses in SPSS assume that you're entering data under this format. And this is called the data view the data view tab. There are two tabs in SPSS, the data view tab and the variable view tab. In the data view tab we enter the data or we look at data once we open up a file. And in the variable view uh, tab we can actually change the name uh, to our variables. So I'm going to change this to variable or maybe I'll just change it to I1 for item 1. And SPSS is telling me that it's numerical and there are other options in there that I could change it to. The width, the decimals, if I wanted a value label, a variable label rather, and these are value labels. Uh, and uh, I'll go right to the end here. Uh, we have uh, a measure, which is scale ordinal nominal. This actually doesn't have any impact on what the analysis uh, does or the results you get. But these are various features that you can uh, change um, relevant to your variable. All right, so that's the two main uh, differences uh, in the front end interface in SPSS is data view and variable view. Uh, once you have uh, data inputted into SPSS, like I do here, you can actually start doing uh, analyses. Now they won't be very sensical uh, in this uh, example, but I've just created these uh, just for the sake of uh, getting the variable created. But I'll go to this section here and file, and uh, this is a very uh, commonly used section of SPSS where we can create a new uh, new data file. There was actually a time where you couldn't have, um, or at least it wasn't immediately obvious, how you could actually open to uh, spreadsheets at the same time in SPSS. So here's my first spreadsheet and here's my second one. And I opened, uh, created that by going into new data. And this section of the menu um, is relevant to those basic file manipulation um, procedures. So up, opening data, uh, open a database, uh, we can read text data. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of these, but most of what we use is uh, open and new. And I frankly use a lot of the recently used data uh, because it creates a history for that. And we've got edit. We can edit various features of um, our, our spreadsheet, our data. We don't use this one very often. View. Uh, toolbars, you can manipulate your toolbars and customize them just like you can in Microsoft Office. Uh, there's a few uh, features in here, value labels that you can change. Uh, data, uh, which allows us to um, specify certain properties of the spreadsheet uh, to facilitate uh, our analyses. And uh, one of the, um, I think one of the uh, frequently used one is 
uh, split file, splitting the file so that uh, you can uh, get various output.